everybody welcome back to our channel i'm nails i'm nails name's not here <laughs> so it's the black and crab balls to say that I went to Culver's. I love Culver's. Their butter burger is amazing. So I got a double butter burger. I got some fries and I have some chicken fingers, chicken strips, chicken strips. And I did have a Dr. Pepper to wash it down. So I have a couple dipping sauces here. Um, honey mustard, I have ranch, and then I have some ketchup and extra mayonnaise just in case they didn't put enough on my sandwich. So I'm going to pray and then we'll go ahead and start. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this meal that I'm about to receive. Let it nourish my body in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. So it is Saturday, just depending on when you watch this, this is Saturday. My day off. I have on a bonnet. A bonnet. Everybody loves bonnets. All women probably have wore a bonnet. Well, not all women, I shouldn't say. Majority of women have wore a bonnet in their life. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Today. So I'm going to start eating and then we'll go ahead and get into the video. Of course, I'm going to start off with this delicious butter burger. I don't really like much on my burger, so I just got mayonnaise and ketchup and cheese. Let's get a close up of that burger. Yeah. Double butter burger. They did not put enough mayonnaise on it, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some more mayonnaise and ketchup on it. Um. I never really had their chicken strips. I just got them for you guys so you can enjoy some chicken strips. I may not even finish them. I probably won't finish them because this burger is so big. Um, but I just thought you would enjoy some chicken strips. So I got some, okay? Put some mayonnaise on here. Um, yeah, so I got mayonnaise and ketchup and cheese. That's really all I wanted on my burger. Sometimes I get mustard, sometimes I get onion. I love pickles, but I don't like them on my burger. So let's see how this turns out. Give me one second here. I gave y'all a bite. Okay, gosh. Here. Okay. How was it? Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's pretty good. So, open this ketchup up here. As I said, today is my day off. Today is also, I took my breaks down, long overdue, and I couldn't find. A style that I wanted my hair in. Um, the lady that I wanted to get was a little busy this weekend, so I'm gonna have to do it myself. So I tried to wait until I had time to get uh, to do my hair. So today will be the day. It's wash day. So that's what I'm gonna be doing after this video. And keep it raw for y'all. I have not showered yet. I'm waiting to shower so I can wash and condition my hair. Don't judge me. Judge your mama. So, yeah. Technical difficulties. 
I'm back. Calm down. Do not worry. I'm back. So, like I was saying, I'm going to be showering so I can wash my hair and condition it and do who knows what with it. Only Lord knows. So, if I'm going to buy it, I have on a bonnet. I did not wear this bonnet to go get my food. And that's kind of what I want to talk about. I can't necessarily say that it's the older or the younger generation. Because I see a lot of my generation, older generation wear bonnets when they're going outside to do things. No. Okay. I get it if you were in a rush or you just got your hair pink curled or whatever the case may be. <laughs> you slap a bonnet on because you need to do something. But what I want to talk about. So I'm not judging you, so don't you know, don't judge my mama. <laughs> I'm not judging you. What I want to talk about is when, look at this chick, it's a chicken strip. It's a chicken strip. This thing is big. Yes, come through Culver, Culver's. Anyway, what I'm talking about is when you show up at a certain event, mmm, You show up at an event, you show up at your child's recital or your child's teacher, parent-teacher conference with a bonnet on. Now those things have been planned. So you have time to figure out what you're gonna do with your hair, all I was doing was getting covers. I ran to the bank and I went to get covers. You know, don't catch me with a bonnet outside. Unless it's, you know, something simple. Like, something simple. But, you know, I don't wear bonnets outside. You can ask Jermaine. He hates when he sees women in bonnets. I went to go, I put a hat on, I put one of his hats on. And, um, he's texting me right now. Um, I put one of his hats on so I can go out. Hat is fine. Go get you one of those cute little wraps from the dollar, well, not dollar, yeah, dollar store or, um, the hair store. Those things are in now, those wraps. Get you a wrap. You know? But a bonnet. I'm in the comfort of my own home. I may go and take another nap. Again, don't judge me, everybody calm down. It's Saturday and I'm off work. Listen, this chicken strip is hitting. Oh, I didn't take a drink. I had a Dr. Pepper. Did I tell you that? I was wondering why I was so thirsty. I had a Dr. Pepper. So, instead I want to eat all these chicken strips, but these are going to be eaten later. So, I want to I want you to comment down below after you have liked and subscribed to our channel. What's your take on it? Am I being too harsh? We don't have children. So we don't know how it is to be in a rush with children and be on your way somewhere. You have to get somewhere and you just slap on a bonnet. So I'm not judging you. I just want to know. Have you been in that situation before where you caught yourself outside with a handy dandy bonnet on? You? Maybe you. Let me know. 
you will not be judged. Somebody else on this channel may judge you. It won't be me. <laughs> and food on my face. Remind me of the video when Jermaine did with Subway. He had a big old piece of food on his face. <laughs> Listen, Sharvana. <laughs> remind me of her girl. The girl that does mukbangs on Facebook. I don't know her name. She only got that blue shirt on. And, um, <laughs> she not. Shout out to Shervana. It's a fly in here. Shout out to Shervana and her girl. <laughs> so. Oh, I hate that. But listen. That girl be cooking some good looking food. You hear me? During her mukbang, she takes a couple minutes during the start of her video and she shows you step by step how she cooks her food and it looks amazing. Shout out to her. I don't know her name. Shout out to know because that's her girl. I just can't stand the faces and uh, I just can't stand that. But anyway, this guy made fun of her. It was pretty funny. Like he had her down pat. Anyway, hope you all are having a good Saturday. We got one suggestion on there. I believe it was from Jessica on our what, our last video to um, to say who has the best fries. So maybe we can do that. We can have a layout of just fries and go in. But you know. And that may change from day to day, depending on their fries. Now, I love me a good rallies fry. I love me a good rallies fry. Um, but sometimes, you know, maybe they don't change their grease or their fry. This is my house. You know what you want? Anyway, depending on, you know, if it's a fresh fry, they fries be hitting, but you may have a time where you have a bad day or you can't get home right away and then, you know, the fry is like old or cold by the time you get home. So maybe that day the fry is not good. So we need to test out these fries. Maybe we can do it in the car. Cause we have a chain of food stores by our house, so maybe um, we could do it in a car. That way, everybody has a fair share of how hot the fry is, you know. But wonderful suggestion. Keep them up. Um, let's see. Send me mix. That we have coming up, well, not us, but then we're going to um, Glass City Hustlers. We'll be in a couple weeks. Um, shout out to the Classy Cats that are tonight in Ohio. Um, sporting the UC Star Wars shirt currently, January. Um, I think Trish posted today that the last um, tickets will be going on sale on October 15th or when they sell out. So then you'll, I believe there's a waiting list after that. Don't get me wrong. You wanna check it out for yourself. For those who don't know, those are line dance events. So our last video we posted, we talked about uh, Great Anatomy and what happened before in Grey's Anatomy. We just watched a few of the episodes after that occurred, you know, the new episodes, and things are changing. I'm not going to spoil it for anybody because somebody may not have seen it yet. Um, 
we just saw it and we saw it pretty you know a few weeks late so we'll talk about that eventually um when Jermaine is here um so yeah I think the rest of the day we're just gonna chill watch some tv relax But you know, the weekend goes by so fast. He works on the weekend. Sometimes I do overtime on the weekend, but sometimes I choose not to, and that's my business. Yeah. There's a lady that says that. And she's on Facebook too. Tabitha Brown. And she does um, videos, her, and now her husband on Fridays. And she does, uh, I think I mentioned this before, reviews on Monday. People send her things and she does reviews. Um, but she'll say, that's my business. Like, you know, I'm putting onions on my burger because that's my business and I do what I want to because it's my business. Because I want to. I love her. Now she has like this <clears throat> Tab and Chance Fridays with her and her husband and they just talk about different things. The last episode was like how they met and uh, talked about the hot sauce. So shout out to her. Uh, hopefully you will see this video. I'm not sure that you will but I absolutely love you and your family. You guys are awesome. Thanks for sharing your life with us. And check out our videos. I'm getting full. October, everything was hot. I got everything within five minutes. Um, they also have ice cream. Um, it is originated from Wisconsin, I believe. Um, and so everybody doesn't have a Culver. So if you don't have one and you're out of town and you see one, try their butter burger it's really good their fries are good i believe this is the first time i had their chicken strips and they're so crispy and thick and cooked just right so try that out they um have ice cream um all kinds of ice cream they have fish sandwiches they have cheese curds anything you could think of so go check them out Culver, you get a 10 for me today. Because everything was on point. So, I'm very happy with my lunch. I'm about to go upstairs and take my bonnet off. Get in the shower. Don't judge me. I did shower last night. Don't judge me. So, I'm about to go do that. So I can get my hair somewhat in order. Lord knows, I don't know what I'm about to do with my hair. No clue. I cut it. It's like the fifth time that I chopped it off. Big chop. I guess they call it now big chop. It was like the fifth time that I cut it. My sister Paige DJ Chocolate Shake will tell you it's just hair. And she's like, I don't know how you do that. I don't know how you could just cut it. I don't know how you could just, you know, do whatever. I've shaved it several times. I've had designs in it several times. I have braids. I'm not a fan of wigs. I'm not a fan of sew-ins. I'm just not. It looks great on other people, but I'm just not a fan of it. I sweat through my scalp. So, yeah, I'm just not a fan of it, you know, but natural is, 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 um, very difficult. Um, so I've cut it, I've cut it, I've grown it back, I've cut it again. Natural is not easy. It's not. Um, but I like it. I really like it. I've texturized it. I've permed it. I've done. I've dyed it. It's just hair. It will grow back. If you lost your hair, you would still be you. You would still be you. 
You just have to find the, you know, the pose. See, I can pose in a bonnet. I could pose. You might looking out for a plus size model out there. I could pose in a bonnet. It's just hair. If you are stuck to your hair, I don't know how you can do that because you know it's just hair. I'm like, I'll wake up and be like, I don't feel like doing my hair today, so I may go, you know, I have Jermaine cut it off. <laughs> or, <laughs> yeah, patience tell you, I'm just not stuck to my hair, you know? It doesn't define me. I'm still a nice person with a buzz cut, with a fade, with braids down to my bottom. I'm still a nice person. Until you cross me. But guys, it has been great. I've had a great lunch with you. I hope you are full. I hope you are satisfied with your Culver's meal today. Culver's, you get a... I said a 10, but I'm going to be honest and say an 8.5. I mean, it's up there. That's really still really high. I could have, but I didn't ask for extra minutes. Back again. Anyway, everything in my bag was perfect. So thanks to you. <laughs> Sorry, shut up, Jermaine. Thank you, Culver's. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the notifications. Um, and yeah, we'll see you next time on the Black and Crab Bows.